It's the Nuvi 2557LMT, which is Lifetime Maps and Traffic, is what the LMT part stands for. And that's like a free thing that comes with it. This unit was about $150, and I got it at Best Buy. And I was down there looking at them. And again, like I said, I did a an um you know an unboxing video of this, and I got some emails of you know from some people of you know when I'm going to do kind of more of a review of it, turn it on, and go through the settings. So if you guys are looking for a GPS unit, and um, you're considering this one. Um, it may be something you're interested in. Um, this one's really nice. It's really responsive. It's really easy to use compared to the other ones down there. Some of them I was down there trying to touch the screens, and I, you know they were hardly responsive at all. They're a little less expensive, but you know when I got to about the hundred and fifty dollar range, this one seemed to do it. So you know you just touch the big tab there where it says uh, where to go. You know you can view map. Um, like I said, it's really responsive. I've had no issues with it. The first thing you do when you get it is get it out of the box and um, connect it to your PC. And then you go to Garmin Express and, and download the latest firmware and all the, the updates you know, that apply for your area and everything. So like in the box, um, it comes with the suction cup mount, a USB cable. The traffic receiver is actually built into the power cable and that comes with it too um, that's like your traffic alerts and everything which work better in in like on your highways and in the city comes with an owner's manual and this is really nice because it's a backlit five inch color touchscreen so I'll go in to the settings here at the top you can see like the signal strength going back and forth the little green bars so it's it's got a connection and it's got all the satellites that it wants to utilize. Over here there's a battery indicator at the top. Again you touch these tabs, really easy to use. Um, scrolls real nice. So if you click apps you also have some of this stuff in here. You know if you select that, go to support and updates, uh, you know you get a bunch of stuff on it. You can click through more tabs there so there's plenty of uh, getting started and help information there. Eco route is another feature that does something I haven't used yet, but it has all kinds of different features and things to do. It has a trip planner, which I have, you know, you can create a new trip. I don't have anything saved in there. Traffic, um, like I said, in my car, it just, this comes with uh, a DC adapter, which plugs into your car. It doesn't come with an AC adapter, so there's no cable to connect and plug it in at home. You basically just powered up in your car. I leave mine on all the time and plugged in so um, the only way for this service to work is to have that cable connected which is built into the charger so it's connected anyway. You know it'll show you places of where you've been you can go back through the dates and choose to you know find out where you went you just go you can scroll through there um, on the screen, you can zoom in and zoom out. You can go out pretty far. So, you know, it'll go to your last spot. Shows you some stuff like that. It's kind of neat when you get into um, highways where you got a whole bunch of exits and a lot more going on. Um, maybe four or five lanes on each side. Uh, this over here actually will start running on its own, like a T, like it almost looks like it's TV. It actually moves. It's it's really neat. So that's in in that screen there. And then if you go to view map, you know you can zoom in, zoom out. You can choose this little car right here is like a little four wheeler. You can choose different ones and download different ones for free. Like if you hold, if you touch over here on the screen. I think if you just, there we go, you get a little flag that pops up and you can just hit go, you can go to that. So you can freely move around on the screen here, which is pretty neat. If you want to go over here, you just put the flag and hit go. Uh, has a speedometer here too. So when you're driving, you know, it shows you your miles per hour. It's like a digital speedometer. Uh, let's see, elevation, that's as far down as that screen scrolls. 
but sometimes I'll just leave this screen on and then I can watch my speed. Um, I'm going to take this for a quick ride in my car when I'm done going through all this. So direction, you can add different things here. Let's see what this does. It's just got different tabs and, and different things that you can click on. Um, you can add tabs in there. Like right now I have the time down there. Let's see how that works. So if you go if you go in there and you select direction, it puts direction down here on that little tab. Alright, so elevation, it'll put elevation down there. So you can choose to put, you know, different things here down in the tab area there. And then of course out here, you know, I went through some of the apps. Like I said, everything, it's really easy to use. The screen's really nice. Um, this has a, a battery that's rechargeable and it lasts like two and a half hours of battery life. So you have your volume, which I only have it at 60%. You just slide that back and forth. You can mute it. In the settings, um, there's a whole bunch of settings in here. It tells you there, go to Garmin Express, and then you can download all your, all your updates and all that good stuff. Um, and here's where you can change your vehicle icon. So you can scroll through here. You can download these. They're free. It's pretty neat. This little guy here, let's see if we can scroll him over. He kind of walks around. It's pretty funny. Anyway, I'll go through some of these quick for you. This review is going to kind of be long, but I just want to go through the whole the whole thing and cover as much as I can. So there you can see you get different different icons and stuff. Like if I want to put this shopping cart back on the map, go back out here, view map. Then you can see I got a shopping cart on there. So like if I go to where to go and I have home saved and I click home, you can see it's Proceed to highlighted route. And you can see it's calculated at the top and then of course I'm already home, so we'll just stop that. Go back into settings. So that was in here where you're you know you got your vehicles. Um if you go down to the next one you can see track up. Uh, north up, 3D, just does some different things there, different views. I like the 3D one, I get the most out of that one. Um, map detail, you can show, you know, normal stuff on the map, less. Of course, I want more detail on there. You know, you can scroll down here, you got, um, let's see, you can choose the theme of the map. And choose some different ones here. And it'll just change the color of the map. And so you got those options. What else do we got? We have map tools. You know, these things that you can choose to show on the home screen. You can just check mark what you want to choose. Up ahead, trip data, you know, volume, brightness traffic, uh, map layers, places along the road, traffic, tra uh, trip log, let's see, my maps, You when you go on Garmin Express and you download maps, like you can choose what you want to have downloaded. This is the current one that I have installed and downloaded. And down here it just shows like related items to what you've been going in and, and selecting. So going back into settings here, go to uh, navigation. You can set your calculation time and mode and choose a faster time, a shorter distance, less fuel off-road. You can put in uh, avoidances and check mark what you want to avoid so it'll calculate and do all that good stuff. And you can customize all that. Um, um, so you can, you know, 
have it always ask or avoid or allow environmental zones. Some of the stuff here I haven't even used yet, but safe mode features disabled while moving. Haven't played around with that too much. Uh, GPS simulator must be something for, it says there for indoor use. I'm not a big GPS person, so haven't even, you know, played around with that much. Then you have your display, you know, your orientation. You can change that to portrait or landscape. This is pretty neat. Uh, the color mode, this automatically, I have it set for daytime right now, but if you choose nighttime, we'll go back out here and you can see that if I go to map, let's see if I, if it actually saved, oops, wrong one. We'll go back into display here and go to color mode. I forgot to save it. So I'm going to choose nighttime. And it, like I said, it automatically does this when you're driving into the evening. You can see it changes the whole look of the screen and it puts it in the darker mode. That's really cool. It does that again automatically, which is actually really nice. So it's not as bright and distracting uh, when you're driving. You just want to make sure you save it when you select it. Oh, you know, the brightness, you can turn the brightness up and the speed. It's very loud, so it works really well that way. It gets really bright. You, you know, you can set your display time out. Let's see, one minute, three minutes, four. And you can tell it never, just, you know, will always stay on. You can do a screenshot. So if you go into traffic, you can turn on, I think there's some additional accessories here you can get for all that. Um, traffic alerts, traffic trends, just different stuff in there. Units and time, you can go in here and tell it to, to set automatically. You know, you can choose your time format, units, miles kilometers, positioning format, which I haven't messed around with too much, um, language and keyboard. You can actually change the voice language. Like if we put this on, Dr. Nightmare, and click save, let's go out and see if I can get it to talk. Where to go, go home, see if it talks. Proceed to highlight it wrong. So there you go, you can change the voice. I'll stop it so it doesn't actually continue to scan, but that's pretty cool. So I'll go back in there and, and change that back to American English. I don't know who Michelle is, but I'll leave that on for now. Um, let's see. Oops, kind of get, get jumping around here. Oh. So, language and keyboard, like you can change the voice language, you know, you can change the, the text language and scroll through all that good stuff. Uh, keyboard language, you can change all that. And if we go back, to device information and privacy. There's kind of what it shows you as far as the firmware, you know, what text version, all the good stuff there, the model number. Um, of course, the licenses. You can do your travel history, clear travel history, uh, all that good stuff. So that's kind of like all the settings there. Again, you have your apps there, and you can put on the screen here what you want. Settings. So, where to go. You know, if you choose address, you can punch in an address in there. If you choose, say, restaurants, you can go down through here and scroll through all that stuff. Um, gas stations. All that stuff it shows you everything in the local area, shopping. It just, it does like a ton of stuff. It has different categories here. 
you know. So multiple things you can do with it. I don't, the only thing I have saved is home. So that's pretty much it. You know, I just want to uh, share that with you guys. Um, just a quick review of it. Again, you touch these things, really easy to use. I'm trying to decide whether I want to go for a drive here and show you how it works when you're driving. Um, I think I'll just go for a quick drive. So, I apologize if the camera uh, shakes around a little bit, but I'm going to go out, get in my car, and we'll go for a quick ride. Now you can see we got, got it up there. And when you start driving, it'll automatically, the map will come up. So we'll do that real quick. Now, I apologize about the camera shaking around, but we'll try and get this right. Try and get this so it's not shaking too bad. But let's see if we can go here a little bit and get the thing to come up. It kind of does this neat thing with the speed, the speedometer, like the sign posted on the road, the speed limit sign, um, it comes up on the device and like it'll change, it knows when to change speed limits, which is pretty neat. So, Once I get out here, it should probably come on by itself. It may or may not, since I was playing around with it. I don't know if it'll... But once you start driving... Let's see if we can get it to come on. Pretty good signals there with the satellite, so... All right, so if I go to if I go to view map, you can see here where it says 55, where my finger is, where the speed limit is. The sign coming up on the road says 45. Okay, right there on the right, and that'll actually update itself if you watch it. You'll see that change to 45 here in a minute. It's usually really accurate. Now you can see down there where it changed to 45 in the lower left. So the other thing it does, you know, so anytime you get into a speed zone, it knows when to change and update itself. Now I'm going 41 as you can see down at the bottom. But once I get over 45, It'll actually turn red if I if I, I see the color down there changing red. So it just kind of alerts you or changes red if you're going over the speed limit. So um, it's really neat how that works. Let me see if I can tell it where to go. We'll just tell it to go home. So. That's what it looks like when it's starting to do a turn right. A trip, and I'll see if I can just turn right. So just to give you an idea how how it works and how responsive the screen is and how smooth it works and all that good stuff. Yep, so that's pretty much that. And then if you turn, if you touch that tab there, you can see then your... Like, turn right, then turn left. Of course, I'm just going to pull over for a minute before I turn and just finish showing you, you know, what, what it looks like there. So you can see how all that stuff there works. But anyway, I think that's long enough for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video.
And if you want to cancel your trip, just click that button. Go back to view map and then, you know, it'll just continue to show you wherever you go and whatever. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, again, the cable here is what has the traffic receiver built into it. So it's kind of hard to do this. I apologize about the camera shaking around, but um, that's pretty much the Garmin Nuvi 2557 LMT. Um, I've been happy with it so far. It's really accurate. works well. So, guys, thanks a lot for watching my video, and uh, you have a good one. Thanks.